I've just finished watching the KS. So I've I've just done a six hour monster live stream and I've just finished watching the KS sci fi and fucking hell. A draw. I stayed up six AM for a fucking draw. Now I understand it. I understand, but KSI clearly won, in my opinion. The Deji fight, I'm I was so proud of Deji watching that because just coming away from that fight to see how hard he worked and how he kept up with Jake Paul. Deji is by no means an athlete, or as of this moment, you know, Jake Paul clearly was. And he managed to give him a good run for his money. Jake Paul didn't knock him down. Deji showed a lot of heart, and I was so proud of Deji, really, for what he did. So if you're watching Deji, massive congrats to you, man. You did yourself massive, you did yourself proud. You said at the end of your press con uh, your interview post fight, like, like you let people down. You definitely did not do that. You 100% did yourself proud. Did the UK proud. I mean, Jake Paul called out Chris Brown and promoting merch at the end of the fight. Typical, I don't know why he fucking did. But getting on to the main event, I was shitting myself. I thought KSI was fucked. Logan looked great. He was very uh, good with his jab. I was like, oh shit, KSI won't be able to find a way inside. Eventually he did. Round three, that was a game changer. After round three, Logan started to like wear down. He started getting gassed. KSI was still had good energy. His cardio was a lot better than Logan. Round six, KSI went in. Logan was fucked. Like he was gonna go down. He was gonna be knocked out. However, you know, there wasn't enough time. It was the last round. If there was one more round, 100% JJ would have knocked him out. Knocked him down at least. Personally, from watching it, I came away from the fight feeling like JJ won. KSI won. Because it just, that was how it felt. Yeah, Logan was winning in the earlier rounds. We didn't rock JJ. It didn't hurt him enough. Whereas when I was watching Logan at the end, I could see him. He was tired. He looked hurt from some of KSI's punches. I'm no boxing expert though. Maybe it was a technically a draw. Even though KSI was on one judge's scorecard as winning 58-57. So take from that what you will. At least one judge called JJ a winner. Logan didn't win on any of the judge's scorecards. But man, what a fight. And one thing we have to take away, Deji. You are a legend. You did this to fucking Jake Paul. You've made everyone so happy. Just look at his fucking face. You fucked it up. <laughs> you have done the internet a massive favor, Deji. Matt, if you won or you lost, that picture is priceless. And to Logan and KSI, obviously a rematch is probably going to happen. I'm excited for the rematch. I wouldn't say they weren't close. It was a really close fight. However, I just felt, maybe I'm biased from the UK, JJ edged it a bit more. But you know, I'm excited for the rematch. Get me versus Rice Gum on the undercard. Kavos versus Rice Gum. Tweet out, let's make this happen. Get me on that fucking undercard. I want that. I want to be there. I want to be fighting Rice Gum. You guys can make it happen. Tweet about it. Tweet Rice Gum. Let's fucking get it going. We have ages to train now. I'm free. I'm done with uni. I can fucking commit to this. I'm ready. Rice Gum, you're the only one I want. I want you. Bulk up a little bit. We can have a good fight. I was going to do a whole compilation clip with all my uh, stream highlights I recorded. However, I'm literally going to China tonight um, in actually a few hours, which is the worst possible place for a YouTuber to go because you can't use social media. I wouldn't be able to get my thoughts out there until a few days. So I thought I'm going to get my thoughts out here now while they're fresh. I just saw the fight, my raw opinions. That's what I wanted to do. I mean, I've been making videos leading up to the whole fight. I did a whole stream watching the fight. You know, this is like, this is what the kind of content I love to watch and talk about. Yeah, this won't be the most well-edited video I've made, but I think you guys are interested to hear what I have to say. But also, we hit 1 million subscribers. I didn't think today would be the day I hit a million subs. I was overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. I got a donation from someone telling me I hit it. I just didn't believe it. Like, I didn't even realize I was close. I want to plan a 1 million sub special, but before I do a video like that, I just want to say thank you so much. I have given everything to this job. I've sacrificed so much to get here. And it has taken a lot from me. But just to hit this, see that on my channel has just... Everything I've done has been so worthwhile. Just that. My friends, my family, they know what I've done to get here. I've worked so hard. It's 5... It's 6 a.m. I'm recording a video now after doing a six-hour live stream. That doesn't tell you how badly I want this shit. Nothing will. Thank you so much. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Draw is bullshit. We have to live with it now, though. Did the pools pay people off? Who knows? They have enough money to do that shit. Thank you for watching. My Instagram, Pierce underscore Cav. Please give that a follow. I'm going to try and follow a lot of people back on that because, you know, I've hit a million. I'm going to celebrate. My Twitter, at CavosYT. Also going to try and follow a lot of people back. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for one million. Thank you so much for helping me 
live my childhood dream. I've actually achieved a childhood dream of mine today. The 26th of August in Hong Kong, I achieved something I never ever dreamed of in my life. I Something I just saw is impossible. Hope you guys, if you have a dream, will chase it. As cheesy as it sounds, for someone like me to do that, hope you guys do that so much. Till next time, fuck off.